Gaudi é foda, né? What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, first first thing I want to say before we start this video is I want to apologize for the uh, the quality of the last video. Um, I didn't have my camera that I'm using now charged and I ordered some new batteries. So also because um, my old tripod had broke, so I had to get a new one of those and that's the other reason why I didn't use the camera. But we got a new one in and um, we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and then get you guys set up and going with the uh, new tripod. So give me one second, I'll get you guys all set up. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna be working on the cooling. Um, I got a few parts in. I got an AN fitting kit uh, for the radiator from Jack Spania, and I got a um, hybrid racing 10-inch fan with the uh, hybrid racing. Um, this is, this was the, uh, this is the fitting to run the, uh, the end line so let's go ahead uh, right now on the thermostat housing it has the one for like the regular hose um so i need this in order for me to run the uh the dash line so my knife got the codex nine um i don't have any of the um the an wrenches um i just ordered some and unfortunately it won't be in on monday so i won't be able to tighten everything down so then, but here we go, we got Jack Spadia Racing. And this is just a coolant uh, line kit. Because of the fittings and the lines, I don't remember how long of the lines they are, but um, it comes with uh, like 345s and a 90 degree. So today we're just gonna mock up uh, the fittings and see how everything's gonna fit in. And then uh, when the wrench comes in, then we'll go ahead and get into actually finishing the cooling system. Um, I'm waiting on the uh, the filler neck for the uh, upper cooling housing to come in. That should be in today from K2. Um, also, I got I got a few more parts from K2. So here we go. We have the we got the hoses and we got the, the fittings right here. And then uh, from K-Tune today, I mean, we got, um, let's see, I ordered the upper filler filler neck, but I forgot to order the radiator cap. I thought it would come with it, but no, there's an option on there saying that you want it or not, and I forgot to order it, so I had to get this, and this this is why it's in a separate package enough to get it with it. I also ordered um, the uh, breather filter for the uh, valve cover it's from K-Tune as well. And they also sent a banner. I wonder how big this banner is. Let's see. Oh, cool. It's a pretty decent sized banner. Oh, yeah. Something to add to the garage. There we go. And then this is the uh, the breather filter. We'll just throw this on as well today. And then uh, you have to throw on the little decal onto the filter as well. So let's go ahead and place that on there. Try to get it centered as possible. And there you have it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these pieces on now, and then uh, we can mock up the fittings. Um, mock up the fittings. We can put the uh, fan onto the radiator. I still got to mount the radiator onto the uh, radiator support. So we go ahead and do those, and then we'll wait, wait for the upper filler neck to come in to go ahead and put this on. All right. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and then. Uh, Change out the fitting on the uh, hybrid racing thermostat housing. Um, we are not going to use this no more because we are running dash AN lines. And this is the fitting I was telling you guys about. I've also went ahead and changed out the one that goes to the uh, upper coolant um, 
the housing too as well. So we got this one here. The one thing I like about this hybrid racing thermostat housing is it swivels. So um, however you have your lines running, you can swivel it around just to make sure to make uh, you know make your lines for the air lines. Alright, so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to run the other 45 here. I don't like the way it looks. If we go ahead and put it on, okay, and we add this on here. There it goes. Just so I can show you guys why it's not gonna work. Alright, so we got the 45 on. I mean, just look how hideous that looks like. It's going up and it's going to go straight here. Plus when I get my throttle body and I do decide to put on my in my intake, the throttle, the throttle body probably sticks out about this much. With the arm of the intake, it's more than likely going to hit this. Um, so I figured it'd be better if I go with a straight A in fitting here, in which I don't have, which sucks because we can't move forward with the video. Um, but anyway, say we're just we're just mocking up things anyways. Uh, we're waiting on this to come in, and then we're just gonna put the filler neck on. I mean the breather filter on. But still, this 45 is not gonna work um, with my with my cooling with my cooling lines. Excuse the noise. Today is trash day, so they are here to take out the trash. Um, can move for the, further anyways too because I went waiting on the uh, AM wrenches to come in so I can cut the lines and tighten up all the fittings to go ahead and put it on. So I just ordered a straight fitting, 16. That should be in on Saturday and then we should be able to finish with the rest of the cooling. But for now I guess we can just go ahead and put on the breather neck. Um, and then maybe I can pick up the video later on once that uh, upper filler neck comes in. And we can go ahead and check that one out too. All right, so here we go. We got the uh, K2 um, breather, and it just goes on right there. Then we just gotta get tight, something to tighten up that real quick. And there we go. Got our little K2. Breather filler there. Um, I guess the next thing that we can do is put on the fan. All right, let's go ahead and add this fan to the radiator. I gotta figure out what, what plugs I'm gonna wanna run on this. So we got the 10 inch fan here. Um, and then we're gonna have to source another fan too once we go, once we throw on the uh, AC, so. We'll use these straps for now until uh, we get some hardware for the fan. Here, let's go like this. Bend it first. Nope, we're gonna be out. Now we got the fan. Make sure we got the little lines are pinned downward. We get the bottom ones on first. And put this one in. And put this one in. Gonna do it. Fans now installed, and now we wait. We wait for the fitting and the upper filler deck. Um, like I said, today was just supposed to be a mock-up video, mocking up everything before we move forward. I am still waiting on the end wrench tool to go ahead and put the lines together to make sure everything is nice and tight. I don't want to scratch up none of the fittings neither by using the regular wrench. Um, 
So, so I guess we just, it's a waiting game now as we wait for parts to come in. I do got a throttle body, a throttle cable coming in. I do got uh, a throttle body coming in and I do have the gasket, the thermal gasket. I know that the uh, K-Tuned throttle body has an O-ring gasket, but I bought the thermal gasket just to be safe. Also, we got we're gonna, the next thing, when we do get those parts in, we're gonna do the modification on here for the, to the breather. I mean to the, uh, what you call that? Um, what the hell? Well, anyways, we gotta move this down to the bottom, so we gotta do some kind of fab work to it. Uh, that way we can have that, run, that line running down this way because this does interfere with the hood closing. So we're gonna have to relocate this. We're gonna drill this out, tap it, screw it on, and then I'll call it a day. I also got a, a Acuity TPS sensor coming in, and then I need to get the map too as well um, to complete the uh, part of the intake. And then uh, we gotta do our fuel lines still. We still gotta cut the hard lines. Mark everything for the fuel lines. I got PTFE lines, so I gotta get those. Um, and then we can go ahead and work on the uh, brake line tuck kit. But first we gotta pull all the interior out, get all that out the way, and then start working on, um, you know, doing the lines. I also gotta finish up with the uh, headlight harness tuck here. So that's why I wanna wait till the dash is out, that way it's easier for me to go ahead and move the wires through there and have it run along here. And then finish with the, uh, with the headlight wiring, that way we can put the fenders on and start putting things together piece by piece. Um, I do want to order the no-cut shifter because of the shifter cables because I don't still want to run my heater core So I don't want to get rid of that So I want to run the no-cut shifter so that way I can just run the lines right underneath um, The cabin and then you know run it up here. I do got shifter cables. I got OEM shifter cables For this just got to get the uh, no-cut shifter box and then um, I do want to put the battery and the fuse box back into its original location and then um, keeping that there because I do want to go AC in the future that's why that one's still plugged I want to find plugs there and I also got to get the master and slave cylinder for the clutch as well just as I was leaving to pick up my kids the package came in the mail so let's go ahead and see what we got in here check these parts out set you guys up on the table got our knife See what we got in. Here we go. Cool, send me another sticker. Thank you. And then it's a, a thermal gas that I was talking about and the um, throttle cable. So those will save for another video once we get the throttle cable. And then here is what we were waiting on um, earlier. I remember again, I got the uh, the radiator, I mean the filler cap too. So let's uh, first. Get that, oh, <laughs> one more take. Get that out of the way. Maybe go ahead and open up this thing. So we can see how this thing fits on here. I hope I got the right one. I know there was like different ones for like straight, angled, cur curved, or whatever, whatever it was. Let's go ahead and uh, see how this thing looks. Came with another sticker. Extra decal, we'll save that. Comes with uh, comes with extra decal for the uh, for the cap. Right there, focus. There you go. And then this thing just slips on just like. Hmm. Just like that. Looks like I'm missing one more piece. What? There's supposed to be an inlet that goes right there and as you can see it's not here let me pull out my phone and i'm check man don't tell me that's like an extra piece i'm gonna have to order i swear they only had the option for the radiator cap or without the radiator cap oh. they shorted me apart Well, it looks like we have to shoot him an email and ask him, ask him about it because it's supposed to come with one. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on the car. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully, this is the right one, and um, hopefully, it fits and it looks good. Hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and start by loosening this real quick. If I don't scratch anything up, 
needs a little bit. It has to be the one. There we go. Again, guys, this is not final. We're just mocking everything up, see what it looks like. Then we can go ahead and just add this piece on. Right there. And looks like I might have to set the camera down for this one. One second. And there you have it, guys. So this is going to be a pain in the butt, man. I'm going to have to take this off when I go to bleed the coolant. And then I still got to email them about this piece because they didn't come with one. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture, send them an email, and um, see what they say. Hopefully get back to me within, like, tomorrow. They have that thing shipped out, and it should be in, hopefully, by the weekend. If not, the first, the beginning of the next week, of next week. So um, that's okay because we're still waiting on the wrench, the uh, AN wrench tool, to come in. So we can go ahead and finalize everything. And then we are still waiting for the straight, uh, the straight, um fitting as well so we can finish the cooling system on this thing um i still need this hose right here that goes to the thermostat housing that routes out this way goes around here so i can connect to the heater core and then that's when everything will be complete for uh the cooling all the all the lines and everything all right guys so that's gonna uh conclude today's video unfortunately plans didn't go as planned um but stay tuned uh, we'll finish up on this once the uh, AN wrenches come in and then um, I'll update you guys on what K-Tune says about that fitting um, it didn't even come with a screw to like cap it off or anything so I'm gonna have to figure that out hopefully they get back to me soon and then I'm gonna have to order uh, an overflow um, tank and we'll just probably put it somewhere along the firewall and place it there um, also I need to wait for them AN uh, wrenches that way we can go ahead and get the fuel system together because I am running Dash 6 AN um, fittings with uh, PTFE line. So that's going to come in clutch when those wrenches do come in and then we can post up another video on the fuel system and get everything uh, finished in the engine bay. Then next we'll be working on the interior, um, the brake line tuck, the wiring, the conversion um, harness and getting everything wired underneath the dash. I'm going to pull the full interior out so that way everything's easier to do. Do the headlight harness, that way we can put the front end back on and get this car back on the ground. Um, I'm still trying to source a half shaft. I do got some axles already for the car. I just need to source a half shaft and hardware. Hardware for the half shaft and then um, we can pretty much get the car rolling from there. Um, then we'll have, I have another video coming out too on what um, computer or ECU that we're gonna be running. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's basically going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Like it if you have it. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm ready on TikTok, but every once in a while I'll post on there if you guys would like to follow me on there. Um, but once we get the rest of these parts in and stuff like that, um, we'll go ahead and update and post up another video and um, share the progress with you guys on, on the build. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time.